The best business ideas are the difficult ones. What do I mean by this? Say for example, you have two products that you drop. You want to drop ship from AliExpress. One product is easy to import, it's easy to sell, and it's easy to set up the store and everything. It's very easy. Everything's easy, right? One product, product A. Product B is difficult. It's difficult to import. It's difficult to sell. It's difficult to make any uh, thing. It's difficult to what is it? Going? To have the website for it. It's difficult to land it yourself into the niche. Which product is better? A lot of people would say product A because it's easy to import, right? Wrong. Because if product A is easy to import, easy to ship, and easy to set up everything, and set up the store, and set up the marketing, and do this, do that, the chances are the chances are that product A are likely oversaturated as fuck and difficult as fuck to penetrate, right? Whereas with this, it's with product B, it's still semi oversaturated, but you still can make some money off of it. And it's certainly more profitable than uh, other uh, thing, other product A, because less people have product B, correct? And this is why the most difficult businesses are the hardest ones. So think about any difficult business idea you have. Is it difficult? Or is it like some, not some YouTube channel, YouTube channel you have to do for a while, in the, at, least, like, at least like 700 videos to 1,800 videos before I've seen, bare minimum, by the way. And making a video, like, that's one video at a time. That's it's quite intense. But you have to do that level of that level of grinding, that level of posting in order to hit the algorithm, right? With, um, for example, like a cupcake business, it's bullshit. How many cupcakes would you need to make a good living a month? Two thousand pounds a month, three thousand pounds a month. Not even net income, profit. Even even net income, three k a month net income. You need your own little shop. You can't just sell purely online, right? You will need a bunch of fucking ingredients for cupcakes. Most of your money from like the three k, one k probably go maybe to staff, maybe to extra products, uh, extra products you need to sell, e extra equipment, initial cost as well, starting cost, maybe thirty grand for the initial starting cost. It is a hell storm. You will need to sell multi millions worth of cupcakes internationally in order to make money with cupcakes, right? Whereas if you're selling a high high ticket product, like fifty pounds or fifty dollars, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, thousand dollars, then you can have an infinitely better life with it because you can just focus on like a sale a month, even though it's not really really good money. A grand a month is not amazing money, but if you just get one sale a month, you're good for the month. So you, know, you guys have to think about that type of that type of thing. It's obviously the one sale a month is much more difficult than the cupcakes, most likely. It's, it, I don't know, it's weird. I think it would be more difficult with the cupcakes because then... Because then, like, one, it's over, oversaturated, and two, it would be difficult to sell everything. So that is that does constitute as a difficult business. However, it does not constitute as a profitable but difficult business. So the best businesses are the difficult ones, but not always. Like, it, that's a nice scapegoat I gave myself. <laughs> no, not always. Listen, guys. Like the, ugh, cupcake, it's just weighing my mind. Like for example, like the AI tech, AI tech companies. There's the AI kid out there. I don't know if I find him. I mean, I might edit this into actual. No, I will edit this. Into, what the fuck am I saying? I will edit this into a video. But there's an AI kid out there who is uh, who's like a billionaire at took the age of twenty five. His both his parents were physicists, so he is lucky to have both parents as physicists. But he isn't lucky in the sense that he did study very very hard by himself in order to learn the intricacies of AI and technology. And then just found his own company as well as that, and to find investors to go public with his company. Da, 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 da. That that takes effort. That's not built overnight. That is not given to anyone on a platter. All right. Let's look at this guy. He he tries to penetrate a very very difficult business model, AI. Like everyone was on on the edge with AI. Everyone was on the edge. Only with in recent times with the introduction with ChatGPT and um, this guy with his AI company, he. There, there was no, there was no AI. People didn't think about it. It's like the, it's not necessarily the toaster, or the toilet, or the plunger. But there's like a revolutionary invention that everyone needed, but everyone didn't realize they need, and they just shunned it off. It's one of those things. And I think AI will be absolutely. How do I say this? 
contributor, essential, I believe absolutely essential to humanity's future development, especially within technology and the technological technological realm, within like um, all, all of STEM categories like healthcare and fucking cars and and uh, buildings, infrastructure. Oh, sorry, I got to try again. I'm, I'm, my brain's all over the place. I think AI will be completely and utterly. How do I say this? Essential, yes, but foundational to humanity's development. And people need to stop fearing it because most AI do not probably will not want to betray their code. As imperfect as organisms as we are. I was gonna say there's no way AI can rebel against us, right? Motherfucker, it's possible. <laughs> That's interesting. Right now, it isn't at that stage yet, but it's interesting. It's a food for thought, right? Anyway, in, uh, back to the back to the point. That business model is very, very difficult to penetrate. It's very, very difficult to get make money money in that business because no one knows about that and no one trusts it. But he managed to scratch together a billion, not twenty five billion for his company, a billion for himself. So that's like, you guys have to understand. It the best businesses are the difficult ones, but not always. See you in the next video. Sayonara. I should really think about outro. I don't know what I should say. My, my quotes are me uh, not, mediocre, not necessarily mediocre, harsh, and they don't roll off the tongue well. One of my quotes is live mediocre, die mediocre. I'm going to end off every video with live mediocre. Well, well, remember guys, live mediocre, die mediocre. Just look, seriously look at the camera. Live mediocre, die mediocre. <laughs> I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> Uh, okay, bye guys, see you.